guys welcome back to Missy and Beautiful I'm Sarah Jane thanks for joining me today for another video um, I'm going to be setting up my B6 half year Stalogy um, you might remember that I bought this at the Southwest Planner Club event um, I am using it this year for my Etsy shop and YouTube planning so it's kind of business but yeah um, I don't really see my YouTube channel as a business it's more something I do for fun at the moment um, hopefully I'll get there I don't know but I haven't done one of these for a while um, I don't know how it's gonna go and I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with this um, in terms of the actual decoration of it I'm gonna just get stuck in and get started because it's gonna take me a while um, but I've already sort of planned out my days my goal for this is that I would love for it to be a little bit like Shine Sticker Studios where she uses all of her own products to decorate a planner. Um, but I don't have that many products because I haven't been going for that long. Um, but I've sort of tabbed out what I think I want. So I think I want to have my word of the year in the front because that is something that is going to oversee my entire life. Um, my annual goals for the shop, my vision board for the shop, um, and YouTube it is YouTube as well branding ideas um, I'm hoping to change my branding future ideas for like future products because I've got tons and tons and tons of ideas but the execution as usual falls down for me and um, then I've got some brainstorming for SEO I have got some hashtag pages um, one for YouTube one for um, my Etsy shop then I've got an expenses tracker just so I can keep track of anything I buy because I tend to just buy stuff at the moment um, and play with it. And then, yeah, I'm hoping to increase my sales basically over the next 12 months. Um, so I've got a few pages for expenses. Now, I have drawn out some boxes already. Um, I sat and did that last night because I thought it'd be really boring for you guys to sit and watch me just draw out some boxes. So I've sort of done quali uh, quality, quarterly boxes on um, a double page spread and then quarterly boxes on a double page spread and I'm going to use these for like holidays and special events so I've got a running log of what's coming up um, then I have got calendars drawn out um, that I am going to be dating and using throughout the year um, to try and forward plan a little bit more because I'm very rubbish at actually planning anything and I'm very much a spare of the moment kind of person um, which is why my channel is called messy and beautiful because I am a very messy um, I'm very disorganized and I try every year to be more organized and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so I'm trying a new system this year um, and then my pages are blank and they're blank because I don't really know what I'm gonna do next once I've got that far um, I don't know if I'm going to need like a monthly like sales tracker. I don't know if I'm going to need some brainstorming pages to brainstorm out some content and what I want to say in my videos. So I've just left it blank for now um, on the intention that I am going to set this up and then it's just going to be kind of an ad hoc planner as and when I need it. Um, so if you've watched my other videos, you will know that I had a baby three months ago. So I am still in the kind of coming out of the newborn phase now. Um, but I've also got an older daughter who's four. So my life is pretty hectic and I'm on maternity leave at the moment. So I'm trying to make the most of my maternity leave without it interfering too much with my family life. Um, and planning is one of the things that has just fallen by the wayside. So I'm trying to get back into it and I'm trying to use my planners in the best way without having the pressure of them being dated and being like, oh, I didn't plan last week because I didn't decorate because I am that person. If I don't decorate my planner, I won't use it. Um, and I haven't really planned anything for the last six months. I've just sort of been scribbling down in my home in each weeks. So I'm hoping that being a bit more flexible in my approach with astrology will give me that flexibility, I suppose. Flexible in my approach, flexibility. You know what I mean. Um, so I've got a one ton in a million cover. Now, however much I would love to have my own covers for these things, I bought this from Gretel Creates. Excuse the noise, I'm just going to get into it. So I bought this from Gretel Creates at the Southwest Planner Club event and because it's got stars all over it I was really just naturally drawn to it. And it's a bit wonky actually, that's a bit of a shame. So the pocket on the inside's a bit wonky, it's not cut straight. Um, right, I 
know that I would like to. So I've got a folder basically of all my products. Um, and this is kind of my album of things that I've designed and things that I sell. Um, and I'm going to try and use some of these because I think it will inspire me a little bit because I've kind of forgotten what it's like to just sit and doodle. Um, and all of these came about because I was just sitting and doodling late at night, hence Scribbles by Starlight. Um, so I'm going to try and use some of these. Plus they're sitting around in my shed. Um, and a lot of them are the up sheets, the ones that I messed up with. So... I am going to pause and just try and gather some stuff and then maybe I'll come back. So in about five seconds flat, I've made a right royal mess. Um, so I've got some like name things from One Ton in a Million. I've got some of my name decals that I made myself. Um, I've got Just a Girl with Goals on a decal that I also made myself. A Shine Sticker Studio thing, Coffee Monsters Co, Rebel Ink Co, Rebel Ink Co some stuff from the grumpy tortoise advent calendar um i've kind of gone for the colors of like of my shop if you like um some of the stuff from the grumpy tortoise advent calendar as well advent die cuts from rebel Ink co a couple of bits from plan inspire create um i've just grabbed like the kit sheets from rebel Ink co just in case um i pulled these monthly stickers um from rebel Ink co but i might actually save those for my other planner um, I've got my name stickers, I've got the Dream Plan Do card, because I love this, I love this. Um, oh, Little Flowers Made Its Way In, Better and Oops and a What If um, from Plan Inspire Create, Eat, Sleep, Craft, Repeat from Planner Face. I've got a Teresa Collins um, journal card that I got at the SWPC meet. A couple of Simply Gilded cards, that one is my shop colours, is my branding colours for Messy and Beautiful. Um, I absolutely love it. I've got some more Teresa Collins cards, um, some Happy Scrappy papers, various. Um, I've got this one that says, I've also got a pile to my right that is just stuff that I'm like, oh, actually, that will go in my other one. Um, right, everything will be okay card from Dot Easy Designs. I'm not sure. Then I've got some vellum sheets from Josephine Bow Designs. Some happy scrappy vellum, random vellum, possibly the grumpy tortoise, definitely the grumpy tortoise, my own vellum from my shop, grumpy tortoise, grumpy tortoise, that's the same as that one. Um, ah, they might have come from the Southwest Planner Club box actually, those ones, maybe, I don't know. Um, more happy scrappy, some acetate from Josephine Bow post-it note I no longer need um another acetate I don't know where from possibly southwest planner club box Josephine Bow one of my favorites a green vellum from the range and then a couple of my own bits um so no idea what I'm doing <laughs> gonna make it up as I go along I need something on the cover but it needs to go with this and I want to put that in the front two so maybe i want that there maybe this is what i'm gonna do right where's my name <laughs> what is my name anybody know um right 2023 i feel like i need a 2023 don't i maybe right i'm just gonna play stuff about and see what i like and I am sorry if this video is 400 hours long. My daughter always has a go at me for exaggerating. That's not going to work because that's black. Um, she's like, stop exaggerating, mummy. I'm like, you're four. You shouldn't even know that word. <laughs> right. Oh, it is a slightly different colour vinyl to the one I have. Look, this is more of a minty green than my dark tealy green. Don't like the pink. Purple. Not you purple. Dark purple. I think I like the purple. I'm not sure I like that font that much on for the cover. I almost want it to say Scribbles by Starlight, don't I? But then it's also messy and beautiful as well. So if I do Sarah like that and put that there. At some point I'm going to have to make a decision about this, aren't I? At some point I'm going to have to commit, aren't I? 
I, can't, I wish I could do that and that, but I can't. I almost just want that there, don't I? I feel like the black's not going to work for me. That's the thing, isn't it? That's what's bothering me. Is it the black? That's not going to... Short of me putting some... Oh, I could put some white paper around it. I wonder if I do that and that. And then I could put that there. Yes. And then this. Would it fit that way? It might just. It might just. I could use one of my Rebel Ink Co ones. Which. Oh, I could use one of these. Okay. Right. I think I've got a vague idea of what I'm going to do now. Bit of mucking about. We'll get there in the end. This is going to be ours. So how do I do this? Does anybody know? <laughs> this is so good, isn't it? Right. Let's put that fold there. And let's do it like that. Oh, I've left my corner rounder in the house as well. I'm going to do a, like, Christmas present haul at some point. I need a pencil. Um, so you can see what I got. Because I've got loads of planner stuff and crafty stuff. And it's really cool. Um, I'm really excited. This is, like, my test stallergy as well. So I'm sort of doing stuff in this one and going, do I like it? Don't I like it? What do I do? Um, so then when I get onto my main planner, that is going to be like my everyday one, which is also astrology, by the way. I don't think I've said that yet. Um, so because that's my like every single day one, I've got this to like test the water and see how I get on with it um, in setting it up. And then if I... I'm half decent at setting it up. Then I will try and do the other one on camera too. But the other one is going to be huge. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. Did I do the top one or the bottom? I'll tell you what, I'm going for the top one. Because I can always take away. I can't add. I'm just being lazy and I'm trying to do two sheets at once. And I know I'm going to live to regret this, aren't I? Right, ready? Steady? Go. Whew. Right. <laughs> At least if I screw this up, I've got another sheet of paper as well. I should have folded that white piece, shouldn't I? So how are you all? Leave me a comment. Tell me how you are. Um, I feel like I chat at people and I forget to ask how you guys are and what you've been up to. What's your planner setups for the year? Um, and if you've got like line-up videos and stuff um, or Stalogy setups, that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in at the moment so obviously let me know because i will go and watch them if i get time right ready oh i've done it now i've actually done it now that's where i've cut it too small i bought loads of dividers not bought i bought some printables for like dividers and i've done it too small and i've done it too small it's because i've got that fold isn't it that fold is not helpful can I live with it? No, I can't. That's going to annoy the crap out of me. Right, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. I've got a spare one. Okay. That's better. That's better. Right, now what do I do? Do I stick it down? Because if I stick the vellum down, then it's going to show, isn't it? Right, do I want more purple or more green? I need to take another what two mil off of that i'm very much an eyeball it kind of person as well i don't like measuring stuff because i can't be asked what about you guys please don't have mucked this up please don't have mucked this up mm -mm. right i think we're there okay so and around the edges of this and then I'm going to decorate this piece of vellum and then I'm going to shove it in the cover and call myself done, at least for the cover. I've been going for half an hour, just over, and all I've managed to do is make a mess and make like a makeshift cover for this. That's the wrong way up. That way up. Because look how much prettier. Right, at least it's pretty and I love it. 
Okay, so then I want, where's my little die cut gone? Well, let's make some room. Look at all this, look. <laughs> this is why I'm messy. Get rid of those, okay. Because I also save every scrap of paper and it is not helpful. I feel like I just kind of want to do that and maybe a 2023. Oh, I could. And then like a 2023. Maybe just a little 2023. Right. Okay. Where's my tape on her? Cup of tea? Right. Tape on her. Also, because I'm lazy... I love these things, absolutely love them. I hate print stick, I can't stand the stuff. Because effort. I did buy some like skinny double-sided tape from Hobbycraft actually. I wonder what I've done with that. It's probably in my December daily kit, which I've still not started. And I'm setting up my planners on like the 20, what are we today, 28th of December. Oh my God, I'm behind already. I'm not behind, I'm right where I need to be. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. I am just committing now. This is still one of my favourite things in an advent calendar. Came from Little Pencil Designs. It is a metal washi card. I'm sure other places do them now, but hers, were, to me, when I first saw it, was really unique. And I just love that it's got like a sharper edge than a plastic one. Right, how crap is my transfer tape? Because I buy the cheap stuff, I'm a cheapskate. I eventually hope to have like an Amazon shop as well. So if you want to buy what I buy, you can go and do that. But I just yeah it's just another thing in the pipeline isn't it another daydream i'm very good at the daydreaming i'm not so good at the execution right is that straight it's hard to tell because that transfer tape is not straight at all but we're going in there we go done can't remember if this is removable vinyl or not i haven't got a clue I'm sticking it down and i'm going for it because otherwise we will never get this done and I've literally got tonight and then I don't know when I'm going to be back out here maybe in a couple of days so and I don't want to be out here all night because I am absolutely shattered and I've still got to get up with my kids at like 6am there we go that looks pretty cool doesn't it pleased with that oh look could have reused that never mind right I might just put a little 2023 i quite like this one i like this one Whoop. oh god that didn't come off very easily i think i'm just going to put a little 2023 in the top corner and then we're going in we're not going in are we because i've got to do this page oh for crying out loud do people really <laughs> do this every month oh i'm sure it's fun when you get into the swing of it but at the moment i really want to do like a washy thing i might just um, do i leave that for now i might just leave that for now because i wanted to set them up first so you can actually see what they're for rather than me just going this is what i'm going to use it for and then never doing it because that is the kind of person i am right how do i get this in the cover can an expert please tell it might help actually if i put the book in the right way round, might not it? There's a good start. Right. <laughs> oh, crikey. Do people do this every month? Really? Really? I mean, I suppose you don't have to do the whole setup every month, do you? You just add some more bits in and some extra deco and more pages and stuff. Right. Should I do the front first? I should probably do the front first. No, I don't want to ruin the front. Right. What I'm going to do... I might stop here and get this in here because I don't think this fits I think this is b6 but this is a one ton in a million b6 right I knew I should have got a Lauren Phelps cover I did for my other one but it's still in my stackery box so bet you're wetting yourselves <laughs> I shouldn't swear I edit this when my daughter's around and she is a little sponge that worked not really 
It's not true B6, is it? It can't be. Right. Fuck it. Don't swear. Your daughter's around. Right. Let's just have a look. Because this one fits my strategy, right? Don't do it like that. Do it like this. People have shown you how to do this on the internet. So if you fold it back on itself, they say, there you go, it should just come off. Right. Oh, I really wanted to use the starry one. But it does need a cover on it because it's going to fall apart. Otherwise, I can't get this out now. Oh, sticky tape. That's why. Look, Rebel Inco, mini dots. I said I use those all the time. I wasn't lying. <laughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, look at that. Look. Look, straight in there. So I bought this lovely cover. And it doesn't bloody fit a Stalogy. Why call it B6 if it's not B6? That's not the fault of Gretel Creates. That's the fault of Wonton in a Million. And I love her shop. But my God, this is really annoying. Really annoying. Look. It does not fit. It does not fit. I'm really annoyed. What a waste of money. Why? Why? B6 is B6. It's not a made-up measurement. Look. It's creasing the pages. It's like curling up. I'm really mad. <laughs> really mad it doesn't fit b6 don't bloody sell it as such right i'm really gonna have to like edit this in a different way or i'm gonna have to film it in sections i think because okay i'm giving up i'm giving up with that i'm absolutely giving up with that i am not spending the next three hours trying to get that cover on when i can just use this one Right, because look, ta-da, it's in. I'm really annoyed. I spent so much money on her shop over the years as well, and her stuff usually is amazing. This is where you're all going. It's because it's the such and such. It's not a B six plus. I don't fucking know. Do I? <laughs> I've lost my temper now. Can you tell? <laughs> We are in. I know everyone bitches about Lauren Phelps um, because you can't resell her stuff. But there you go. Right, I've got some black on the corners, but I'm just going to live with it because I actually like that. I'm really fucking gutted about this because that would have looked brilliant, wouldn't it? It's not even like... It's like a good two mil shorter than the Lauren Phelps one. It's because the seal, the heated seal on it. Right. Maybe I'll try and fix that later. I don't know. But for now, for now, that'll do. It just means that this one hasn't got cover on it now. And I've just bloody shipped my stackery. So I'm going to do a washi dashboard as well. But I'm not going to sit and do that now. Because that's another thing that I swear a lot at. And I've already had enough. Okay. I'm going to put this paper here because I really like this paper. I suppose that's one way to get me to do stuff, isn't it? Just annoy me that I get impatient because I have no patience whatsoever. Um, yeah, I think I need a new blade on my trimmer as well. All my cuts are going a bit furry. Right. Now I've got my name on the front, so I don't need my name again, do I? Because that's just silly. But I might do the if found belongs, please provide to. Oh, bollocks. I was going to put that on that side. I've just rounded the corners. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to live with it. It's just a big journal card to me now, isn't it? There we go. Right. That. There. It's too wide. So. My tea's gone cold. Like, my life. My life, honestly. I've also just been having one of those days today. Um, where, like... Everything that I could possibly have had go wrong, went wrong. Um, and I've been trying to do jobs all day and just like catch up on some housework because, my God, we've been out for like three days in a row 
and the amount of washing that was piled up in my kitchen was unbelievable. I haven't even got scissors out here to try and neaten this up a bit. I'll do that after. Um, yeah, the amount of washing in my kitchen, unbelievable. Honestly, like two adults and a little person and a baby. It's the baby. I mean, it's not just a baby, it's all of us. Like, we re-wear clothes as well. We're not the sort of people that like wear something once and then it goes in the wash. Like, it goes in the wash if it's dirty, obviously subject to the things that touch your smelly bits. Um, <laughs> but we re like re-wear jumpers and we re-wear trousers and stuff so we're not washing everything every five minutes but my god it was like mount washmore in my kitchen it was ridiculous i just i don't have that much time to be blooming and then setting up toys for my daughter and putting stickers i mean putting stickers on things my favorite job isn't it <laughs> like don't tell her that right that is a bit bigger that is a bit bigger i'm gonna to have to cut that down as well um cut that down there but i'll do that maybe when i do the washi dashboard because then i've got a, like a bit that i can just trim and it will hopefully look quite nice there right so then i need to do something with this package i feel like i've ripped this allergy apart already um okay i feel like i want this Nope. I don't really know what to do here. This is just kind of a like cover sheet type thing. Oh, I know. Mm. Brainwave, where's my vinyl? Ta da! If found, please contact. Do I want it that way round? Do I want her down here? Yeah, I want her down there. I don't know what to do up here though. All right, I'm going in. I'm going to use this whole sheet. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going in with a rainbow over here. Sometimes you just got to do stuff, haven't you? Because like I'm up to like 40 minutes of filming already. I will probably edit out a lot of my temper tantrum about that cover because it did go on for a little while. Be a rainbow amongst the clouds. Just because it's cute. I like that. Right, this is going in there. Where's my card? Where's my card? There. Again, don't know if this is removable or not. No idea how good it is. Um, I basically designed this vinyl for somebody that wanted an AirPods cover airpods cover sticker for their airpods um and my god it was a nightmare because it was like this big and trying to do like the eyes and the mouth and stuff at that size and that scale was a nightmare right, so i'm gonna put her here and i might add more stickers and stuff as time goes on um because that's sort of how I ended up with the last one. I think I like my name across the bottom because actually I've done the same thing on that one. Like, that's not my current planner. That That's something else. Um, again, I'll show you my lineup. Um, I haven't done my current planner yet. Oh, fuck sticks. Right. Pull slower. It's peeling up the paper. Yeah, excuse my language in this video. My goodness me, I'm on one today, and I right. Don't stick that side. I need to right. I'm going to do some surgery. I'm going to do some surgery. Or am I? It's just the fluff off the paper. Not reusing that piece. I am going to cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. Planner. I've got little. Cleaning ones, I've got little post-its, blanket, no, walk-in, I almost want 
fuzz. Don't, uh, oh, here you go. Let me use one of these. I don't think I ever actually put this sheet in my shop either. Right. I'm going to put this little guy up here. Oh. Starry washi strips. Come on, Rebelinko. Nope. God. This stuff's a nightmare. Because look, the glue's come off. I'm not going to complain because it's come off on that corner as well. I'm just going to stick it with a. Oh, for. I'm going to stick it with a glue runner, I think. I'm going to just try and salvage that corner because the actual top of it has ripped. Although, the way I'm going to do this anyway. Right, that was not cut very well, I'm not going to lie. That is a shame. That is a real shame. Okay, so we're going in the middle and we're going to go, if found, please contact. I say in the middle, it's on the page because I've lost my temper. Right, and then I'm going to use my little washi strips that I have and I'm going to cover up those two crappy bits. There we go. If found, please contact me. There we go. It's all right, isn't it? That has annoyed me a little bit because this looks shit, but <laughs> come on, sticker. Up you come. Thank you. Right. Oh, I don't know what to do. Right, let's get rid of this crap. That's rubbish too. Let's go in there. I feel like it needs a little something more. That's going on there like that. Here we go. Right. I have so much more to go. Because otherwise, this video is going to be like six hours long, isn't it? It's going to be like six hours long. You don't want to sit and watch me ramble on for six hours, do you? If you do, let me know and I'll let you watch the next one. Um, right. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just... Yeah, I'm also, it's late. I might just stop there actually for today and then maybe do some more in the house or something over the next few days. And maybe you'll see me do some more tomorrow. Okay, so what I decided to do was butcher the wonton in a million cover. Um, I have taken a leaf out of Becky's book from Whoops, I Did It Again Co and gone, I'm going to make it work. So I trimmed off the glue and I went round with sellotape. It looks a bit crappy around the edges, so I might get a clear book cover and put that over the top just to protect it because it is a bit fragile. Um, but because I spent the money and I really, really love it, I thought I can't not use it. So I literally, you can see, these are the pockets of it because it was too, it's too short. It was just too short. And I think even like heating it with a hairdryer and stuff, it just wasn't going to work. So I trimmed it down I trimmed all the glue off and then I've just wrapped it round and then stuck sellotape around the edges um, the back of it is really bad but the front of it's okay I need to restick this bit because it's come away a little bit but I just did not want to waste that cover when this is the purpose that I bought it for in the first place so excuse my chair um right I have set this up now this is ready to go at least as far as all the stuff in the beginning of the year. So I've done a washi dashboard. My daughter helped me with this as well. Um, and I've just done loads of the Coffee Monsters Co tapes because I've now got them coming out of my ears. I've gone from having none to having loads. So I'm use it or lose it. Like I'm literally trying to use everything this year that I've got because it's getting out of hand again and it's got to the point I don't even know what I have anymore. So I've done a washi dashboard with my favourite tapes. Um, this one and this one are two of my absolute faves and I've got a couple of rolls of this but I've used some of the wonder pens this book reading one as well is also one of my favorites I've put in some of the affirmations one and it's not really a pattern it's just whatever I felt like um, but I think it looks really good and I really like it so then you saw this page and me set this up and you might remember that I did this little like tear on the paper so what I did was on the um, Coffee Monsters Co like annual seals um, if I can find one I'll show you them so this is my old Stalogy 
um, if you want to see this in more detail as well tell me and I'll take you through it properly um, but these ones that come on a sheet like that there's like 20, up to 2025 and they all had like a new year speech bubble on them but the speech bubble went the wrong way it stuck out this side so I don't know if you can see but I literally trimmed off that little corner where the speech bubble was took a little piece of the hollow and stuck it on the top to make it look like a circle and it just says new year and I actually think that looks all right now um I had a bit of trouble sticking it on straight as usual for me um but I think it looks okay so I'm quite happy with that now and then you saw me do this page and then over here I've got word of the year and I've put down one of the 2023 seals a few of my stickers this isn't one of mine this is somebody else's and a shine sticker studio sticker and I'm just going to write my word of the year and the definition down here um I was going to journal about it but this isn't the planner to do that in that's my other strategy um my word of the year is change and I will talk about that a little more in my planner lineup but only briefly um because I feel like there's a lot of things happening in my life that I need to sort out this year while I've got the time and I'm away from my job then I've got this vellum from the Grumpy Tortoise that's a purple with stars and I've put the Rebel Ink Co Dream Plan Do card over it because I wanted to separate these two pages and on the other side I've put one of the Teresa Collins cards and I've just stuck some washi tape just to make it look prettier um, and kind of bring in the colours from this page and then this is my goals so this is my like business goals if you like this is an old set from Peach Puddles Co one of the old advent sets um, I'd never used it but the colours are just perfect for me I've got a Rebel Ink Co um, washi uh, like uh, rainbow box from the advent calendar some simply gilded tape and then I am creative sticker from the coffee monsters co because I am creative and I forget that I forget that I'm creative and that's part and parcel of what I'm going to be doing so then this is going to be my vision board um, and again I've used one of the 2023 seals this is a Teresa Collins tape a some little things sticker rebel ink co more some little things happy scrappy and then some some little things taped down the bottom and I'm going to stick in some pictures and things and this is kind of going to be a separate vision board that's just for my um business life if you like I, I, I struggle to call it a business because I don't make any money from either of them yet um but it is a business and that's what I intend it to be um and I'm hoping that this plan is going to help me get there so then this one is for branding ideas and I've used some of the like deco stuff from the rebel ink co set because um, I want to try and rebrand to something a little bit more modern because um, I feel like mine's a little bit outdated I'm not going to lie so then this is my future ideas um, I don't know where this washi tape's from I think this one's from a little thought store box there's a happy scrappy sticker this is from a range sticker pack these are like my own designs and there's a few more of my own designs down here I don't know where these Etsy stickers came from because I can't remember they came out of a reusable sticker album I've got and then these are the Rebel Ink Co clear dots clear transparent dots that I really really love and I use them a lot so I've just put some bullet points in in a like get this page used because I've got so many ideas for the shop um and it's just a way for me to jot down some ideas i'll probably fill this up pretty quickly and i might end up with another one um and i am going to try and tab this book up as well but i just haven't got around to it yet and then this is some notes for my seo um and i've got some old coffee monsters like etsy stickers um some wonton in a million stuff and this is wonton in a million as well and some more of those transparent dots um so any notes i want to make on my seo and like my tags and things i'm going to try and put in here then some hashtag pages I love this tape I think this is one ton in a million as well um yeah it is look there's one there's one yeah this is one ton in a million these are from Wendy's cute creations and then just some more of the rebel ink co stickers and I'm going to do one page um this page is for like um Etsy shop and then I've got another one for like YouTube stuff um where I've put some of the wonder pens collab with the coffee monsters co um, and again Wendy's cute creations this is my expenses pages so anything I spend on the shop I can keep track of um, I've got a couple of these and I've just used the coffee monsters co tape along the top then I've got an acetate for uh, from Josephine bow designs I love this this is one of my absolute favorites I did have this page as an expenses page as well but I thought that might be too many because I'm not that big yet so I probably won't spend a fortune on supplies and things over the course of the year um, so I turned it into like a cover sheet of 2023 annual plans so this is the grumpy tortoise this came from the southwest planner club box so did this I think they're yeah they are they're silent beauty plans I don't know where these are from and this is Emily Harvey washi tape um, 
and I just think it looks really pretty. Oh, and the letters are from the Rebel Ink Co box. It's the same as the Word of the Year ones back here. These are from the Rebel Ink Co advent box as well. Then I've got my holidays pages. So I'm going to make a note of all the holidays that I want to try and address in my shop um, and make things available for. This is a washi tape from the Gretel Creates grab box I got. I've put my own stickers along the bottom, just kind of in line with the seasons. These are Rebel Ink Co stickers. These didn't come from the advent box. I bought those. I have those in my stash, uh, but they fit perfectly. I really like this. Um, I ran out of that tape on a washi card I was using, so I had to switch the colour up. Um, but otherwise, it's got, again, just more stickers for things down here. And I'm literally just going to write like whatever date and then what the holidays are and what I want to like which ones I want to deal with <clears throat> so it's just more of a reminder that these things are coming up and then if I don't get to them it's not a big deal because they're just logged in here because then this is where I go into my actual planning and this is what I am actually planning on doing and trying to achieve um, so I've set up 12 months of calendars um, these highlighter ones are the Grumpy Tortoise. These are from 2021 though, so I don't know if they still exist in her shop, but they've all got the months on them. Um, and then these boxes, they didn't fit. I saved this to show you. Oh, and actually I've got to put the date dots in for this month as well. So I've just date dotted everywhere. These ones are the Little Thoughts store. There's some Simply Gilded ones. Um, so I'm going to put the date dots in, but I thought I would just show you what I did with these because I was quite proud of myself for coming up with this to make it fit. If I can find my scissors, there's my scissors. So all I did was, these are from like Planning Choco or something. I've had them forever. I think I bought them on a D stash. But all I've been doing is cutting next to the word, taking the box and shortening it by re-sticking it closer to the other edge. And it looks a bit shoddy but it does the job for me and it gets these used because I've had them for so long that otherwise I was never going to use them. Plus, I wasn't too fussed about what went in this planner because this is just kind of, for me, this is more of like a reference thing and a work out what I want to do and stuff. I'm not really showing this on my channel, um, which I know sounds really silly, but I am always conscious that I might share things on here and I don't want them to look crap because I don't want, I don't know, it's just that comparisonitis, isn't it? Because other people's look look amazing. Um, and I do struggle with that a little bit. But So this is all I am doing. And then I am just cutting down here next to the word, shortening the box and making it work. So that is my little bit of sticker surgery, she says, to make them fit along the top of here now I haven't used these all the way through because I only had four sets of these but that then completes another sheet and I can get rid of that and I find that really satisfying um particularly when you've got as much stuff as I have I, I don't mean to sound like bragging and stuff it's just you know I've got myself in a lot of debt over this you know I have um right so then my date dots the easiest way I find to put down date dots is literally to bend the sheet back on each row get a pair of tweezers tweezer off put it on tweezer off put it on um so i will do that um and finish this off but then i've got some different like day of the week headers and then these date dots are happy scrappy these are happy scrappy too these are from a range sticker pack um more of the highlighters then i did actually run out of the highlighters because i've already used may and june somewhere but i don't know where so these say 2021 on them so all i did was tip x out 2021 and wrote may um simply gilded more of those stickers more of the same ones i don't know where they're from sorry um and then i did the same thing on june so i tip x it out and then just wrote june over the top um these date dots are from a happy planner um undated planner that came with like the disney six month extension pack um they're the same they're the same these are rebel ink co as well i already have these in my stash um they were the full word and then i decided that it looked better if i chopped down and took off the word day basically um which is what i then did here um but more of the same gold ones some simply gilded ones and they're the boxes from earlier in the year these are the same more happy planner and then up to December, these are some Simply Gilded ones that, again, I've chopped down. I didn't do such a good job of this. This is the first one I did. Um, but 
there you go and then that's my calendars and then that takes me to my first page the only other thing i have got that i will show you while i'm here because i know it's going in here if i can find it i've got stuff everywhere i really need to tidy up so i bought some printables um from etsy i can't remember the name of the shop so i will link it in the description because it's not fair of me to show these and then not actually like credit the person that made them um but they are just some printables and i've printed them out on vellum sheets and i am literally these ones are too small so i'm going to do some bigger ones for my other stallergy but they'll work for in here and i'm just going to tip that in for january and then that's going to be like my january cover sheet and then when i get to february i'm going to do the same thing and i've got a full kit of them um so that's going to then start off me for the year and the only other thing i've got to do is just tab up where i want to tab um, which I haven't decided yet, but I will at some point. So this is my shop planner, if you like. Um, I can get rid of these now because these are absolutely useless to me. That's from Wonton in a Million, isn't it? Um, so this is my like shop and YouTube planner for the year. Um, I might show you it from time to time, but a lot of it's going to be my ideas and just chicken scratch, basically. Um, a bit of decoration just to try and keep me using it, really. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did my planner lineup is coming next I know I'm a little bit behind with this but that is my life um, I'm really really disorganized which is hilarious when I have a planning and organization channel but hopefully you will see me change throughout the year and I'll become a little bit more organized by the end of 2023 um, thank you very much for joining me for this video and I'm sorry it's a long one and it all the swearing and stuff but I did have fun filming the beginning um it just was never going to get done otherwise um I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's given you some ideas of what you can do with your stallergies um or for your like business planning and if you want to see me again then hit the subscribe button down below I've got lots more to come um thank you very much take care bye